Not the hugest squid, but the uh, inku comes through again. Obviously you don't want to go too deep, otherwise you will cut all the way through. Too long at all, otherwise it gets super yuck and rubbery. Mm. See down at the tidal pool at Kingscote today. Uh, it's a bit rough, but we've just come down for a quick flick, see if we can get some squid. Unfortunately, in the distance there, you may be able to see Kingscoat Jetty. That's currently under repair construction and not going to be open for about a month. So we're going to have a, a little squid here and see how we go. A uh, pretty good start. Hi guys! Matilda's out here fishing. Don't forget yeah. to keep winding, otherwise you get caught on the bottom. And we caught that on the Inku set up on the float so we'll uh, send that back out there and see if we can get a couple more inku set up that's flashing around in the background is doing the trick we've got number two on the board i'll try and get some on camera soon guys it's just a bit hairy we're looking after the daughter say hello matilda no she's being shy making sure she's not going in the drink and watching the float I've just changed over the jig to the Rui Blue Glow White Tiger Prawn. Uh, hadn't got any more action on the uh, Inku Squid Jig. So it's always good to try different colours. We've also changed the colour to a green on the casting rod, but again, no action. So hopefully we uh, get some more action with this Blue Glow because it's got really good texture on it for reflecting the sunlight coming through. So hopefully that gets their attention. So we just finished with the two squid. Not a bad little session. Rightio legends, uh, we're back here again at the tidal pool, just uh, trying to catch some squid uh, just before the sunset. Um, incoming tide, the breeze is a little bit uh, lower than it was yesterday. Um, I've also heard a rumor that the a, a school of kingies floating around uh, out here and also possibly in Bay of Shoals. So gonna keep that in mind. We might throw out a big rod with a balloon uh, and a livey if we can get one. So yeah, let's see how we go. Um, tidal pull, just too windy, wrong direction, nothing really going for it. So uh, while the main jetty is closed, uh, there is this little spur jetty down here and uh, we're going to give that a go. I did hear some people were catching some squid off here last uh, yesterday afternoon, last night. Um, so we'll give it a crack and see what we can do. Uh, so we're at the end, squid marks all the way along the jetty, which I really like. So we're going to get uh, the squid jig in the water and see what we can rustle up. So what I'm doing is just starting my float, my squid float here in the close to the jetty and the wind's directly in our backs. So just letting it um, basically cover a bit of ground by letting slack out as it gets tighter. So hopefully we'll cover a bit of ground and we might find a squid or two. The float is, maybe it's caught on the bottom because it's just consistently going under when the sort of waves come through. It feels like there's a bit of weed there. Well, that explains that previous excitement, which I don't know if I caught on camera because my GoPro gl glitched a little bit. I just don't know where these squid are. Can't believe I'm going to have a donut session on Kangaroo Island. I didn't think that actually ever happened. I only said I was going to go out for an hour or two, catch some squid on this uh, sunset, and uh, clearly I'm bloody hopeless at it today. And I don't think I really caught the action yesterday with the two we caught yesterday. be fun because we only have one candle here I'm gonna lift him up real gently oh and down not the hugest squid but the uh, inku has come through again pretty good we just got him on that one candle but it didn't break they're not very big I thought this guy was actually a bit of weed. That's how not big he is. But uh, anyway, we've got two. See how we go. So that was on the Rui Blue Glow Tiger Prawn. Okay, legends, we're back um, in our Airbnb in Signet River. Um, it is called 
Petwood, I think. Yes. I'll check that. Petwood, I think. Uh, hosted by a lovely lady called Sharon. It's a converted dairy shed. Um, and it's got a pretty basic kitchen, but that's all you really need when you're cooking seafood most of the time. Tonight we've cleaned the two squid that we caught earlier this evening and we are moving into uh, adding them, sorry, to the squid we caught yesterday and uh, introduce you to my lovely partner, Catherine. Uh, we have a bit of a deal with the fishing. I catch, I clean and she cooks. So there's our squid and over to you. Hi, how are we all? I am just going to be scoring the squid tonight um, and then cutting into some bite-sized pieces and using the good old tanko crumbs to season them with. Just really easy and then just made a really simple salad. You can show my salad. I like salad. So when you are scoring, you, obviously you don't want to go too deep, otherwise you will cut all the way through. So it's just a really light score, just to give it that nice crisscross so when it does cook, it kind of curls up and has that nice little pattern. So I thought we actually had the salt and pepper one left, but we are all out. So we're going to use the lightly seasoned tsunami salt, which is from a local Barossa business called Green Farmhouse. So she makes some amazing salt blends and rubs um, for fish, meat, everything. It is, she makes some absolutely delicious stuff. So she's available online. I'm just gonna shake that up. I've got the old uh, electric fry pan. It is hot, it is ready to rumble. So the thing with squid is you don't actually have to cook it too long at all, otherwise it gets super yuck and rubbery. So that's the final product. I put a little bit um, Egyptian dukkha on the salad just for a bit of bite. Um, also another amazing local business from the Barossa. Um, bon appetit. So now we've got a taste test. Mm. That's quite brilliant. That extra um, tsunami salt has made that bloody beautiful. Um, Kat's done a great job. As always. And um, a perfect meal. Um, thanks again to everyone that's um, following the channel. Um, don't forget to give us a subscribe and a like if that um, uh, was to your um, liking today. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the in the next video.